Welcome back to Python scripting for GIS applications. This is a class at the University of Alaska Fairbanks and it is spring semester 2013. From last time your assignment was to write a simple ArcPy mapping script that renames all the data frames in some map document using the Python upper function so the data frame names will be all uppercase. So here we create a map document object and then once we have that map document object, we can use the list data frames function with that map document object to create a list of data frames. And then we loop through for every data frame in our list of data frames, print out the data frame name property. So here's the names of all data frames in this map document. Okay, so we can simply loop through our list of data frames. So for each data frame object in this list of data frames, we'll get the name property from that data frame object and store it in this string variable. And then we'll print out what that string variable contains. And then we'll use the python.upper function with that string variable to create a new string variable called new name. So that should be all uppercase. And then to see that, we'll print out new name equals whatever is inside that string variable. And then we'll assign the data frame dot name property to be that string variable. So we execute this loop and it loops through. When we started, we had our first data frame monster locations. The new name will be a Unicode text, all uppercase. All the way down to our last data frame is climate rasters. The new name will be climate rasters all uppercase. So we loop through and execute that, but we don't see our data frames as uppercase because we need to refresh the table of contents. So that's arcpy.refresh table of contents. So that makes all our data frames uppercase. And if we want, we could hit the up arrow key to recall our commands. And this time, instead of using the dot upper function, we could use the dot title function. So that's a Python string function. And then refresh. So that basically, the title function, each word starts with an uppercase and then lowercase. Okay, in this session, I'm going to teach you how to work with layers. And to work with layers, the first thing you have to have is the data frame object. And then we can basically create a list of all the layers in some data frame. So the syntax is arcpy.mapping.listlayers. And then the first thing is either a map document or a layer object. And then a wild card and then the data frame that we're talking about. So here we'll use our map document object. And then we'll use a wild card. So let's say we want to extract um, the monster location layer. So we could use asterisk monster asterisk as a wild card. And then we need to tell it what data frame we want to extract from. So we've got our list of data frames. And this would be the first frame in our list. So that's index zero. So now we've got layers list. So what's the length of that list? So now we've got layers list. So what's the length of that list? So we can use the Python length function. So there's one object in that list of layers. So then what we could do is create a layer object from our list of layers. So take our layers list and the first item in that list will become this monster layer object. Okay, so now since we have a layer object, it will have properties. So for example, we could say for this layer, is it a raster layer? And that's false. And then we could say for this layer, is it a feature layer? And that's true. And then for this layer, is it visible? And that's true. So you can recall many properties of the layer by just typing the layer object dot, and then you'll have a list of properties. So what's the data source of this layer, for example? 
you can change some of the properties. So for example, let's say we want to uncheck this layer. What we could do is our layer object dot visible is going to be equal to false. And then we need to refresh the table of contents to see that that's actually been checked off. So arcpy dot refresh table of contents. So that refresh the table of contents to show you that that's checked off. And then likewise, we could use this monster layer that visible is true. And then just refresh our table of contents. So control C and then control V to paste. So that turns that on again. Okay, right now, this data frame is not the active data frame. So what we need to do is make it the active data frame. So to do that, that's a property of the map document object. So it's map dot active view, and then specify what data frame we want active. So in this case, it's gonna be our frames list, and then it's the first data frame in our list of data frames. So now we have that data frame is our active data frame. So once you have the correct data frame active, then you could go arcpy dot refresh active view. And that refreshes the active view in this area here. So that would be analogous to hitting this button to redraw. Okay, we could also do a definition query with our layer object. So here I made a string variable, def query is equal to this string. So above is a field in this monster layer. And what we want to do is get all the points where that field value is greater than 10. So then what we could do is go to our layer object and then dot, one of the properties is definition query. So we could set that definition query equal to this string variable. So that would be analogous to you going to the layer, right mouse clicking on the layer, and going to properties and definition tab, and there is that string. So that's now one of the layer properties is the definition query. Okay, so then once again to see those points, we would go arcpy dot refresh active view. Okay, so for all the points that are now in our active data frame, above is definitely greater than 10. Okay, another property that you can control is the dot show labels, and that would be either on or off, so we'll set that to be true, and then we'll refresh our active data frame. So then we should see labels for our points. And there, every point is labeled with the default field for labeling. OK, so we can also do a select by attribute in addition to a definition query. So here we're going to make a string variable. So feature ID greater than 26. And then use the select layer by attribute tool with our monster layer, it'll be a new selection and it'll use that string query. So then we'll refresh our active view. So that should show us the selected points. So now we've got three selected points down here. Okay, so what we could do is zoom in to the extent of our selected features. So the first thing we'll do is make an object for our active data frame. So that will be our map document dot active data frame. And then active frame object dot extent. We're going to grab the extent from our layer. So our layer object is monster layer. 
and then dot get. So get the selected extent from that layer. And then we'll go ArcPy refresh our active view. So let me move this down so that it zooms in on that actually before we even refresh it. So if we want to go zoom back, what we could do is active frame dot extent and then this time for our layer instead of get selected dot get the extent of that entire layer so that zooms out okay and if we want to unselect all our features what we could do is use the select layer by attribute and then just our layer object and then clear selection so that will unselect any feature that's been selected Okay, you can also use ArcPy mapping to update symbology. So here's an example. In this data frame, our first layer has been symbolized the way we want these climate rasters symbolized. So temperature where low is some cool color and the highest temperature is a hot color. What we want to do is apply that same symbology to every raster layer in this data frame. So the first thing we need to do is make this data frame our active data frame. So this would be frame 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. So now that's our active data frame. And then what we'll do is update the symbology in this data frame, grabbing the symbology from our first layer and applying it to the other layers in the data frame. Okay, so then what we need need to make a list of all the layers in data frame index number four and then what we could do is update the symbology for this layer using the symbology from our first layer so we'll make first uh, first layer is going to be equal to layers list index zero and then we'll do a test so test layer is equal to layers list index one so then it's arcpy.mapping.update layer. So we're going to update in this data frame. So this data frame is frames list index four. Our update layer is our test layer. And we're going to update using the symbology from our first layer. So then it updates the symbology from our first layer. And we could do that in a loop and basically update the symbology for every layer in this data frame. Okay, so we can do this in a loop. So we've already done index one. So what we'll do is start at index two and then loop through from index two to the total number of layers we have in our list. And we'll update the layer using layers list zero which is our first layer in our list of layers so we'll execute this and then basically every climate raster in this data frame gets the same symbology and we could have thousands of climate rasters in this data frame okay so your assignment for our next session is to write an arcpy mapping script that loops through each data frame and then zooms to the extent of the first layer in that data frame. So basically, here's our first data frame. It would grab that first layer and then zoom to the extent of that first layer. And then the next data frame, grab that first layer and zoom to the extent of that first layer. And I'll go over the solution to that ArcPy mapping script at the beginning of our next